Hey, what's going on? Hey, so we know we haven't come to you in a while, but we just want to let you know that we are back on our way to Malaysia and leaving New Orleans was so hectic. It was. And we left on a horrible day. It was raining. It was black ice all over the roads. It was horrible, but we made it. For it looks like uh, all of Houston uh, was delayed and uh, so there's issues all over the place. Everybody's just waiting around. Yes. Been up for 24 hours, driving all night. We had to do like 20, 30 miles an hour for the entire night. I think we left at around 10 and we made it here. What time did we make it here? 8.09. We are ready to embark on our new journey and we have Mr. Melandreras with us. Who never likes to, yeah, I was about to say who never likes to be on our, um, on our YouTube channel, but there he is. Okay, so I don't know why our travel days are always so hectic, but you guys would never believe the day that we had. It's been crazy to say the least. We have driven and driven hundreds and hundreds of miles. No, I'm, I'm exaggerating, but I mean, we, we did drive like 200 miles. Didn't we drive 200 miles then? Yeah, it was pretty long. Yeah, it was pretty long. And then it was snowing, so you know, we couldn't drive too fast. We get here, we think that we missed our plane, right? Because security has this very, very long check-in line and we're just rushing and I'm telling Pastino to ask somebody, can we skip? That didn't manifest. So anyway, what we managed to do was uh, make it on time. But then when we got to the gate, we realized that the plane was delayed due to weather conditions. Go figure, right? to Narita Airport in Japan but our luggage was lost so we're at the airport limousine counter to catch a limousine to the other airport to catch our flight So we uh, we got our call for our email to go pick up our luggage. So we're on our way to the uh, airport to uh, pick up the two lost luggages that was left in uh, in Houston. Yeah. Hopefully um, we'll be able to get everything and square this away. They um, they actually reimbursed me a little bit just for the inconvenience. So and it, we really didn't wait that long. It's about a day. It's just it a that point bad. that yeah that it was lost. But you know. It's cool, things happen, and we're good. Wow, so this week was really busy for us. We actually got a chance to upgrade our internet service. Yeah, so that's $40 a month now. And then we saw the super rare blood blue moon. We were also able to enroll Daniel into Lighthouse Academy, really cool school. It is. Uh, we went to the mall, checked out Black Panther. We also got a chance to see some festivities for Chinese New Year. with the motorbike it was uh it was pretty bad yeah i had to be rushed to the emergency room um we crashed the bike so uh, that's a whole nother story but right now we're at the follow-up appointment for for my leg i had a humongous hematoma on my leg Huge football size yeah it was it was ridiculous it was ridiculously big so uh right now i just have like a uh, a hard hard knot and although it's been three weeks since the accident, I basically just want to check and make sure that everything is okay. So we came to Glen Eagles. Eagles in Penang. Um, I think the wait is going to be about 30 minutes to an hour. So far it seems 
clean. Looks like a good hospital so far. Yeah. We haven't been, uh, haven't seen the doctor yet. We just registered. Uh, all they did was ask for passports, phone number, address, and, and that's it so far. Yeah, so that's what we're doing right now. Um, we'll try to show you a bit of the hospital and um, how it looks inside, maybe the doctor's office in the inside, and see how that goes. doctor was great very informative very personable um, he said it looks like everything is fine uh, my leg is healing as it should be healing and that's wonderful because I was kind of concerned but I can start going to the gym now work on my quad muscles and get back on the motorbike yeah. we didn't have to pay any money it was strange uh <laughs> but uh they didn't run any tests and i'm assuming that that's why we didn't have to pay any money a free orthopedic treatment hey guys hey what's going on hey so we're in georgetown right now at some some motors and we are getting us a scooter two scooters two scooters so we we've been down here for about five weeks and we got to the point where we don't want to rent a scooter anymore no it's uh it's too hectic and we are going to just go ahead and buy so we're here right now we came yesterday we got a really good deal on too so we're gonna see if we can do the paperwork and try and uh get this ball rolling yeah no more renting it's good saving money that's why we're here all right See, come over my shop okay. before 1 p.m. Before 1 p.m. Before 1 p.m. Bring along your original passport for birth, birth okay. person. Then I call my guy to let you sit the bike uh, to feed you go to JBJ and make a transfer. Okay. So we didn't have enough, so we gotta come get some cash out of the uh, ATM machine. For two new scooters. Two scooters? Yes. Yeah, we're pretty excited about that. Right now, we're just waiting to go and get it registered, I believe. Right. And then, um, and then it's ours. Yeah. So we're pretty happy about that. Insurance here was uh, 77 US. $77 for the entire year. Right, for the so, entire year. And that is a comprehensive, I believe, so it covers everything. If we're in an accident, if it's wrecked or stolen, they can just call them and they'll take care of it. So um, yeah. that's pretty cool. Yeah, I think our bikes came out to. $1,400 altogether, so it was like $700 a piece. And um, that was pretty good. Yeah, I mean, we get uh, three months of uh, warranty. And the guy said, bring it back to him. In case anything, anything happens. happens. So, you know. Wreck stolen, just call him. He, he handles insurance and everything. Yeah, so. So it's pretty good. I'm pretty excited now. No more renting bikes for us. Hopefully, you know, this goes smoothly. We plan on being here for about a year, so definitely sure that it'll, uh, it'll take us through our year. If you ever move to Malaysia, give some summer a try. They're pretty good. They're pretty take good and pretty inexpensive. Right. And uh, we didn't need a driver's license. They told us just two passports. So we'll see. We'll see how that goes. <laughs> it's crossed. <laughs> All right. So uh, right now we're at a red light. We're following uh, his uncle to the JBJ to uh, transfer the, uh, I guess, the title to the scooters to our name. It's pretty hot outside. the uh, JPJ. Hey, guys. hey what's going on? Hey so we are just finishing up with our registration. We have our registration and our insurance for our two bikes. 
at the JPJ JPJ building right behind us right there yeah which is basically like a DMV or a registration place all mixed into one they moved so fast that we were in and out of there yeah. so now what we're going to do is we're going to go and drop our rental scooter off and pick up our purchase scooters yeah all right Hey, what's going on? Hey, so today we we're at Tesco and we came to bring Daniel to get an eye exam. Definitely couldn't beat this. It is zero dollars for an eye exam and only what 288 ringgit for some glasses. Right. Um, they're gonna cut the glasses here. They did his eye exam here. We're gonna go around Tesco and uh, shop a little bit, and then we'll come back 30 minutes and he'll have his glasses. Yes, and Tesco. Uh, if you don't know, Tesco is basically the Walmart over here on steroids yeah <laughs> uh, like the other set so we're gonna uh, also see if we can walk you around Tesco which uh, we realized that we have not done no. yet and we've been to Tesco like 20 times since we've been here so we're gonna do that today all right then see you in a few It looked as if it was a rash of some sort, so we have to take him to the clinic. We're here now. Uh, we just walked in. They asked us for our passport, and I believe a doctor is going to see him. We're going to give him some medicine, hopefully. I don't know what this is. Never but, done this before. Um, yeah, so this is our first time coming to a walk-up a walk -in in clinic, clinic. <laughs> since, we've, uh, since we've been here. And we'll show you guys how it goes. <laughs> Hey, hey, here we are back again. So we, yeah, so we just saw the doctor. <laughs> yeah, so the doctor said that maybe it was a bug or something that could have possibly bit him. Um, he doesn't need any antibiotics orally, but we are going to receive um, an antibiotic cream to put on his neck. He said that it's going to get a little bit worse before it gets better, but we're going to keep an eye on it. <laughs> yeah, so the wait was about, what, an hour? Yeah, we waited about, we waited about an hour, and then we were seen for maybe like 10 minutes, if that, and then now we're back outside waiting for our number to be called. So we can get the medicine from pharmacy. Yeah. Which is all in a one-stop shop right here. Which is really good. You don't have to go to the doctor and then go to Rite Aid, all the way to get it feel, and it's actually being done right here. So. That's cool. Now we just walked out actually. And uh, prescription and to see a doctor came out to one, well actually came out to 90 ringgit, which, which is, is 22 American dollars. And that's not bad for a doctor's visit as well as uh, the ointment that we need. So that's it. That's it. It's simple. What you gonna do with so we are at a Chinese wedding on the beach. Cheers. Cheers. 